The formula for angular speed is omega equals delta theta over delta t, where omega is the angular speed, delta theta is the change in angle, and delta t is the change in time. Calculate the requested quantity in each scenario. Round all decimals to the nearest hundredth. In part A, a bicycle wheel makes 100 complete revolutions in one minute. Calculate the angular speed in degrees per second. Angular speed is just like regular speed, except we use angles as our distance instead of meters. Common units for angular speed are revolutions per second, degrees per second, and radians per second. The animation shows an object moving in a circle with an angular speed of one revolution per second. If we double the original angular speed, we have two revolutions per second. If we have the original angular speed, we have 0 0.5 revolutions per second. Now we'll answer the question in part A. We want the answer to be expressed in degrees per second, so convert revolutions to degrees and convert minutes to seconds. Convert 100 revolutions to degrees using the conversion multiplier 360 degrees over 1 revolution. This gives us 36,000 degrees. Convert 1 minute to seconds using the conversion multiplier 60 seconds over 1 minute. This gives us 60 seconds. Now we'll use the formula for angular speed. Plug in 36,000 for the change in angle, and plug in 60 seconds for the change in time. This gives us 600 degrees per second. In part B, a ferris wheel rotates 1,020 degrees in 4.5 minutes. Calculate the angular speed in radians per second. We want the answer to be expressed in radians per second, so convert degrees to radians and convert minutes to seconds. Convert 1020 degrees to radians using the conversion multiplier pi over 180 degrees. This gives us 17 pi over 3 radians. Convert 4.5 minutes to seconds using the conversion multiplier 60 seconds over 1 minute. This gives us 270 seconds. Now we'll use the formula for angular speed. Plug in 17 pi over 3 radians for the change in angle and 270 seconds for the change in time. This gives us 0 0.07 radians per second. In part C, the moon orbits Earth once every 27 days. Calculate the angular speed in revolutions per second. If the average distance from the Earth to the moon is 384,400 kilometers, how far does the moon travel in one second? The moon orbiting the Earth once is equivalent to one revolution. We need revolutions per second, so convert 27 days to seconds. We can use a sequence of conversion multipliers to convert 27 days to seconds. There are 24 hours in one day, there are 60 minutes in one hour, and there are 60 seconds in one minute. This gives us 2,332,800 seconds. Now we'll use a formula for angular speed.
plug in one revolution for the change in angle and 2,332,800 seconds for the change in time. This gives us a value with units of revolutions per second. In one second, the Moon makes 4.29 times 10 to the negative 7 revolutions around Earth. In one full revolution, the Moon travels a circumference of a circle with a radius of 384,400 kilometers. The circumference of a circle is c equals 2 pi r. Plug in 384,400 kilometers for the radius. Multiply to get a circumference of 2.42 times 10 to the 6 kilometers. To get the distance the moon travels in one second, multiply the orbital circumference by the number of revolutions in one second. This gives us 1.04 kilometers as our answer. In Part D, a cooling fan rotates with an angular speed of 4200 revolutions per minute. What is the speed in revolutions per second? Rewrite 4200 revolutions per minute as a fraction. We need to convert minutes to seconds. Multiply by the conversion multiplier 1 minute over 60 seconds. This gives us 70 revolutions per second. In Part E, a bike is ridden at a speed of 20 km per hour, and each wheel has a diameter of 68 centimeters. Calculate the angular speed of one of the bicycle wheels and express the answer using revolutions per second. Calculate the circumference of a wheel. Since a wheel is just a circle, we can use the circumference formula c equals 2 pi r. If the diameter is 0.68 meters, the radius is half this value. Plug in 0.34 meters for r. Multiply to get the circumference, 2.14 meters. Next, convert the speed to meters per second. We can use the sequence of conversion multipliers to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second. There are 1,000 meters in a kilometer, and one hour has 3,600 seconds. This gives us 5.56 meters per second. If the wheel travels 5.56 meters in one second, and the circumference of the wheel is 2.14 meters, use a conversion multiplier to get the number of revolutions in one second. One revolution is the same as 2.14 meters. This gives us 2.60 revolutions per second.